lot for the Yankees to feel good about, a lot for the Orioles to not feel good about, and that also includes looking ahead to next week when they come to the Bronx for four more. All right, absolute domination by the Yankees again. They hit five more home runs. It's the third straight game in which they've hit at least five home runs. Higashioka hit two, Urshela hit two, Maven chips in with one. Paxton pitched into the seventh inning of this game, continued to work that curveball in. That's a very good sign. But, Bob, when the Yankees match up with the Orioles, this really resembles a high school baseball team playing against a little league team. And I know that sounds harsh because they're both major league teams, but the Yankees just go out there and pound and pummel the Orioles. That's what they've done to them all season. 13-2 and two against the Orioles this season. That includes 12 wins in a row. They don't want to leave Camden Yards where every inning or every other inning, they're putting baseballs into the seats. You know, we should start a new game the way everybody's contributing. Just put the starters on a wheel, spin it, and then just try and pick, like, who's going to be the hitting star of that game. Two more home runs for Gio Rochella tonight. Five overall for the Yankees in their 14-2 win. And home runs by ballpark this season. The Yankees hit 43 in 10 games at Camden Yards. Take a look at the Tigers at home, only 37. Giants just 39 and the Marlins 44. So we've added the Marlins to that list because the Yankees had five more at Camden Yards tonight. This is stunning. The Yankees have 17 individual players with home runs against the Orioles this year, 52 homers total. The rest of Major League Baseball, there are 14 teams with fewer than 17 players who have hit a home run. Yankees at Camden Yards have 43 home runs this season. That is a major league record by a visiting team in any ballpark. A 15-game winning streak there, tied for the second longest road winning streak in American League history against any opponent. And 10 individual multi-homer games. That is a major league record at any road ballpark. So racking up the wins, they leave Camden Yards happily exhausted from swinging the bats and knowing that they had a pretty pro-Yankee crowd there too, which may have helped. Yeah, a lot of folks traveling south and that's been going on for a long time back when I was a newspaper writer you could always hear the Yankee fans at Camden Yards and the Yankees put on a tremendous show these are two teams that are moving in absolutely opposite directions the Yankees have big plans to do something in October the Yankees are on pace to win 105 106 games the Orioles are on pace to lose about that amount the Orioles are in the midst of this rebuild but you look at the team that they put out there on any given night Bob and you say to yourself wow this is going to be quite a rebuild. This is going to take a lot of time. They have a couple of decent players, but the Yankees just go out there and absolutely dominate them. And for all those who are talking about, well, the Yankees are beating up on one of the worst teams in baseball. Yes, that's what you're supposed to do. If you're one of the better teams in baseball, you have to beat the teams that you're supposed to beat. And that's what the Yankees are doing against the team in their division. You pile up those wins and the Yankees have been dominant in their division.